in the story of my life. I, uh, I see something that's, that's quite off, quite not the same, and that's what I go for. I've, this, this, this book is exactly who I am as a person. Exactly the way I did this book is how I've done my, almost my entire life. Mm -hmm. As I see what is not the norm, what's impossible, what, you know, what, what all the theorists say, you shouldn't be doing this, that's the wrong way to go. And I'm like, hmm. Let me see if I can pull Let's this shit off. Here. Yeah, let me yeah, go over yeah. here, man. Let me see if I can pull this shit off. Was that part of the, the challenge, the decision? I mean, I, I, it, it seems to me that the decision to self-publish was generated more by a desire to really, you know, own your story. That was, that's it 100%. It's, it, it, there was no driven message with me trying to prove people wrong or whatever. It was 100% by me wanting to own my life. There's a lot of people I know that, that, that I speak with right now that have nice book deals out there and the people who buy their book, their publishing house, they can't even talk some of this stuff, you know, in like like in speaking engagements. And I'm like, what, you can't even talk your story? And somebody's like, no, like I gotta make sure that they're they're aware of it. And I'm like, no, man, I wanna own 100% of the suffering I went through in my life. I don't want anybody telling me, hey, Goggins, you can't say this. I would lose my shit. What you what I suffered this this badly and you you, you gonna fucking tell me I can't say this? Right. There there've been all kind of problems with that one. Uh -huh. So I made sure that I, I wanted to own all of can't hurt me and own all of my own life story. So that's what it really is all about.